uh, you know, we have reached till this destination that we have come to the semi-final and within not a long time, we are going to have a final as well. That is going to be a very interesting uh, ball game. And let me tell you all that, you know, whether it is vice chairman or myself, wherever we have been traveling, meeting people, there is a lot of positivity has uh, positivities been uh, seen among the people. And the encouragement which people are carrying in their mind is unmatchable. Uh, you know, uh, the first compliments I would like to give it to all those participants who actually made one fact very clear is that, that you made the life simple. Right? Life simple in the sense that you have given confidence to many of the people in the entire process. Uh, that technology can be adopted at any given point in time at any age. That is simple and the strongest message you people have given. And this is actually driving the entire uh, ecosystem of the Institute at present. Dear friends, it has been a very interesting and very amazing journey of the hackathons. We finished first semi-final and then we are on the second semi-final today. When we discuss this AI hackathons in every conferences or with many of the members, they are excited. And they are excited because they feel that this is an AI revolution which has been started in ICI by the AI in ICI committee. Uh, so now ne uh, next panelist is uh, uh, Alok Sethi. So I will request uh, to throw a light on Alok Ji. Tech team, Alok Sethi is there. Yeah, over to you Alok Ji. Thank you, sir. Let me share my screen. And I welcome all the participants to this hackathon and a uh, lot of thanks to the AI committee for the work they are doing. So I hope my screen is visible to everyone. Yes, it is visible. So I want to start with a great message that if you're not using AI, you're really missing something. And uh, if you're not watching AI in ICI series, then also you're missing something because AI is everywhere. We are all surrounded by AI across all the platforms and all the charter content should adopt AI. Now, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show a case, a case where I'm going to take some data from Tally and I want to bring it into Power BI, do some analysis over there and then bring it back to PowerPoint to present it. Okay. So, Jab CA met AI in BI. So let's see uh, how we can do this. So I have created uh, steps for easy understanding of what I'm going to do. So basically we'll use a Tally ODBC connector. It is available on the Tally website for free. You can download it and you can install it and configure it with your Tally. That will actually help you in pulling the data from Tally and connecting it to Power BI, which is again a free software application. And in Power BI, we are going to use AI. So that emphasis would be there on that part. So once you bring in your data from Tally to Power BI through ODBC connector, then AI through the help of AI, we are do, going to do sales analysis. Okay. And what I have done is I have called it as who moved my sales. So every entrepreneur, every client of yours that you're dealing with want to know, okay, what is my top line? What is my bottom line? How my sales are doing? So this is just an example of what you are going to see now. So we are going to now go, go to uh, Power BI directly and I'll show you how you can import the data from uh, the tally. So I had created this earlier, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you how we can do this. So when you open Power BI, you just go to get data. And in the get data, we go to more options and we have to search for ODBC. So when you do, go to ODBC, ODBC is a basically a database connector tool. You will see an option of ODBC, Tally ODBC 9064-9000. This is basically provided by Tally and it helps you in connecting to your data source. So before using that, what you need to do is you need to install that as a add-in in your tally once you configure that in tally and uh, you can configure it going to your help section and uh, in the tdls and add-ons you can uh, do that 
and once you configure you just have to keep one file one uh, client company open which you want to analyze and you want to bring that data into power bi so i've already opened this you will see that uh, the data has come here and you can see all these columns all these values are there now what happens is uh, as a ca as a member we are not very accustomed with technology but let me tell you that it's a very uh, nice and easy software if no excel you can learn power bi also but the thing is that there are so many tables which are appearing over here so how do we actually understand what table we need to connect to so i just type ledger and you will see a list of ledgers appearing over here there are so many options you can go to ledger vouchers so it will it will show you the data on the preview side okay so it is generating a data it's a heavy data so we will not wait for this preview to get generated what i'll do is what the other option is the other option is which is easier to understand is uh, you can go to tally and you can export your data into excel and then you can connect that excel to your uh, power bi that will be easier and that will be faster so i just go to tally i just go to this sales i have taken a three months data for easy understanding current year data of a, a, a company so we have this we can export it to excel and then you can import that excel into power bi so due to paucity of time what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you what you do afterwards once the data is imported you can see that their excel workbook is there you can just select the file so this was my file you can connect it to uh, your excel file and import that data now once the data comes into power bi it passes through a route which my fellow panelist has already discussed and which is very important tool which is power query so power query helps you in uh, cleaning your data or adding new columns to your data where you can work with your data and clean it out or sort it out and you can choose whatever whichever data you want to take so i have the data here where it, it is a three months data so it is showing the date it is showing the party name it is showing the voucher number now value gross total sales gst what i want to do is i want to name it as sales including gst so i just change it sales including gst and this value is actually sales excluding gst so i'm just making these two changes sales excluding gst now once you do that what we will do is we will import this data into power bi so how do you do that you just close and apply and this from your data will travel from power query to power bi and you will see something like this so data is getting loaded once the data is loaded is appear as a uh, appear as a table over here okay so i had imported two datas they are getting connected so i'll delete one of them so that there is no confusion now see <clears throat> now what i'm going to show is most important and everyone should focus over here what i'm doing so in power bi what happens is it is more powerful than excel because you get a lot of visualizations which you can do and there is a section called as ai visuals so the first visual is key influencer the second one is decomposition tree what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this decomposition tree and what it does is it asks me what you want to analyze so basically i want to analyze my sales so i had uh, changed this sales including gst that amount i'll take what it is giving me is a sales total okay so it is a total sales 2 crore 78 lakhs now i want to analyze what is the sales how the sales is moving on a month by month basis so i'll select the month next so explain by month and you can see on my screen that when i'm selecting doing the selection of the tools that i want to do in the visual the visual is getting generated so it is a total sales you see a plus button over here when i click on this plus button it shows me it asks me three options what do you want to see high value low value or month wise sales i want to see the highest sales so i go to high value sales and now here is the thing so out of the months that you have the data you see the highest get data getting highlighted so october month you had the highest sale but that we don't want this only what we want is you want to understand who was the party who moved my sale who was the party who added to my sales who had delivered the highest sales so that i can give uh, discounts i can offer discount and all these things so what you'll do is in, 
yes in the explain by we will add one party name so we'll go to the data tab data panel and the party name is there we just click on this and here what do you see now is that the party name is in front and then the month is there so you can see that deep electrical has got the highest sales when you click on this plus and see on high value then it will show you which month was the highest sales and then so on and so forth now lastly what i'll do is i can upload this on my power bi for that you will need a web version i've already uploaded it and so as to save time so i'll show you that this is a version of power bi where you can upload it so this is the file which you have uploaded and the same thing you can do and once you upload this what you can do is you can just copy a url from here there is a share button you will see and uh, you can share this file and copy this and get this file in your power bi so when you click on sale and you include this, so there is an import in the insert. There is an option of Power BI. When you click on this option, it asks you to connect to your Power BI. And there you can get paste the URL. And once you paste the URL, your live data of Power BI will be imported into PowerPoint. And that you can show it to your client. And you can analyze his data here. So you can see that the live data that we are working on is there in my powerpoint so that is all from my side and it was a use case for who moved my sales to show how you can help your clients understand what how their sales is getting moved yeah thank you, you. alok city ji for your uh, beautiful presentation on power bi and the sale thank you sir uh, Guris, over to you, Manu, sir. Uh, Aloki, I saw your presentation again. Uh, it's basically a presentation of how to use the voice. Uh, sir, voice is. And power uh, query, etc. It's still not audible, sir, properly. Its voice is cracking, sir. Now is it okay? Now it's okay. Yeah, yes, sir. Better. Yes, sir. Okay now. Yeah, okay. Yes, sir. Now audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please okay, go ahead. Okay. Yes, sir. So one minute, sir. Uh, it's we are sitting on the same and some AI is uh, taking place and uh Umesh Bhai is. Umesh Bhai has done some hacking and uh, when I speak, it's not audible. When he speaks, it's audible. So we are using the same system. Basically, it's uh, how you're using Power BI. That's what you showcased in your presentation. Yes, sir. Actually, uh, basically, it's a AI tool in Power BI. That is what I had taken for this use case. Okay, it is not uh, the use of chat GPT and all, but uh, many people find that uh, to use Power BI, you have to learn Power BI and you have to learn data analytics or you have to learn a lot of things. But uh, Power BI helps you, this AI version of Power BI actually helps you in using it without actually uh, learning and going into the indirectness of this uh, because it becomes difficult uh, if you have to learn DAX and all. So it was just an attempt to showcase how AI feature of BI can be used. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Now, yes, Mayur. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good presentation. In fact, the analytical reports which were able to generate from this AI to BI, it was very uh, appealing. Yes, sir. And Thank in you. fact, uh, it's good that a chartered accountant can use such features for better presentation and giving a detailed analytics to the clients also okay, through this such application. I appreciate a nice presentation. It's uh, I was mesmerized with the overall flow of the sales uh, deep dive and bifurcation. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Saurabh ji. Saurabh ji. Hello. Hello, ji. Somewhere yeah. it is. Stuck. Yeah. I, I think, think I stuck. think uh, Saurabh ji has stuck somewhere. So no problem. Hello, ji. Thank you. I now, think he's there, sir. Now, uh, yeah, we could... Saurabh is Saurabh. yeah, Saurabh ji. Sorry, no internet glitch was there. So, Alok, that was a good presentation. At the same time, what you have showcased is something which is very important, which I am trying to point out from last round two months or so. 
the chartered accountant has to learn power bi and make sure that the effective use of power bi and the features connected to that uh, should be involved but uh, there is a dependency on these tools you need one internet connectivity and you need one the live access to that particular data so although whatever the data you have showcased is something which is available but when it comes to real time presentation the accessibility of data could be a challenge for them Point, yes. and i believe these kind of analytics make more sense when you are presenting something related to listed companies data some analytics of that point so that availability of data and how data sets used to be migrated must be primarily understand because these tools are already built up for analyzing but extraction of data is the first challenge for that yes sir definitely and for that power query is a is an important tool where uh, cs should focus and uh, learn yes okay thank you Okay, thank you, thank you Alok.